Yeah, I wasn't gonna bother with this video, but then I said, wait a minute. I mean, I watched like, you know, three Matt videos and I'm not gonna make a video. It really seems I have to. I mean, if we're gonna endure paying the price, I mean, you know, I really gotta get something out of it, you know. Um, but really, it is sort of important. I mean, Matt keeps pushing this stuff, but his last two videos were really kind of calm because apparently he's encouraging some sort of debate and stick cam. Um, I guess because he wants a platform more or less um, so just spout some more gibberish uh, at least he'll have half the conversation um, I, you know I'd certainly be glad to join in you know take my whatever th portion of it and keep my temper under control um, but I don't really see the point of a controlled debate I mean we've got we've had the debate we've talked hours worth of conversation back and forth I mean the bold and arrogant statements made by him they're just fucking outrageous, and his rhetoric is so putrid. Um, he can't even try to use an English word or a meaningful word. You know, uh, novelty and emerge. I mean, you know, it's not really the, you know, Darwin wasn't describing evolution. He was describing emergence. You know, I mean, it's just such a pile of shit. Um, and it's, it's just so L. Ron Hubbardish. You know, it, this is really just cult religion. Um, nothing more, it's creationism. Um, so Matt's narrowed his god down now. I guess he's going with the old whitehead god, which apparently was the swamp god. And uh, so he was at the swamp, and he, whatever, he jerked off into the puddle and uh, initiated creativity. And, you know, gave, gave the creativity a little push. <laughs> you know, and it's, uh, what? <laughs> you know, it's just so stupid. I mean, all right, so Matt, in your, in your theory of evolution, where evolution, a mechanical process, um, a physical, biological process, where it can't explain life, where, 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 what can't it explain? Like, say, did, did, was, was a quantum effect required to create the human races? Or was a quantum effect required to go from an ape to a man? Or was it like a quantum effect when we were, um, like, amphibio dogs, you know, and just, you know, roaming around? Uh, you know, that, that is our ancestor, some sort of amphibio dog. Um, what, what, you know, what were, do we need a quantum effect to get to the next level? I, I mean, this is, it's just such bullshit. Uh, do we, you know, to emerge to the next level, to self-emerge? Uh, you know, I mean, it's just such nonsense, this crap. There's just no way, there's no way to even argue with this because it's just plain crap. And so all I can do is argue with Matt's credibility. All I can do is attack him and his motives because that's what this is really about. No one concocts this nonsense without a motivation. And uh, so you can see the motivation in his slanders, okay? So slander number one, um, you know, the scientists are afraid of his new jargon and his new science, you know, his new bullshit. That's his, uh, that's his accusation, that they're afraid of the truth. <laughs> you know, the, the, the old truth, the old nonsensical truth that we've seen what it's done to the world. Okay, we've seen what the ignorance of gods has done to humanity. Oh, but scientists are afraid to go to the truth because the truth verifies God's existence somehow. That's his fucking accusation. And it's a pile of shit. Yes, intelligent people are afraid of ignorance. They're scared to death of it. And that was what this is really about. Okay, so the worst, your worst offense in your video was the way you perverted Dawkins again. Um, I'm sure Dawkins doesn't believe memes biologically evolve. I'm sure of it. I'm sure he knows that religion is not a genetic component. All right, somebody isn't born with a religion gene, okay, that says I'm Catholic or I'm Muslim. Okay, I'm sure Dawkins knows that. I'm sure Dawkins said nothing to imply that memes, ideas, have anything to do with biology. All right, beyond providing the potential for a brain to be programmed, there's nothing there. And if anything is happening to the human race now through our memes, um, intelligent people aren't reproducing. The idiots are. Okay, so now if it's having any influence whatsoever, ideas, if they're having any influence whatsoever over biology, they're having a negative influence on it. Okay, because intelligence is no longer prized, it's no longer um, in inherently valuable um, and uh, something that's likely to get biologically um, 
selected for by natural selection, exactly the opposite is happening. Because now intelligent people know how to use condoms. They have more things to do than wipe babies' noses. So they're not reproducing. So genetically, we're, we're getting fucked by better ideas and better intelligence. Um, secondly, like I said, the memes don't biologically reproduce. They don't, even, they don't even evolve through natural selection. They spread like viruses. I'm, I'm almost sure that Dawkins probably said that in his book. Um, and and that, that's how they move through a society. It's a whole different kind of evolution. Um, and they evolve by a standard. Like I said, our brains are innately rational. All right? They would be of no function to us if they were not. All right? They're constructed to be logical. And, uh, but they're also selfish. Okay? They are, that's the, the, um, the only duality that exists is the conflict between our subjective, personal, selfish needs and this intelligent, logical thinking device. And as I've argued over and over again, what is disgusting is that um, people aren't smart enough to allow their intelligence to be dominant, okay? So they end up just using intelligence as a scheming tool. And that's what all other living things do. That's what nature wants you to do with your intelligence. It wants you to do nothing more than use it as a scheming tool to propagate your own the genetic material. It has no interest in you using it, you know, to contemplate the universe. And it certainly doesn't want you putting a condom on. Um, so it's, it's just so... And, and so that's the real duality, is it should we be intelligent organisms or shall we just be beasties with a brain, bacteria with a brain? Um, and, and, you know, that's the, that's the game here, okay? But, but ideas spread by this different standard because brains are innately logical, they're innately reasonable, so reasonable ideas will start to percolate through. They'll spiral up through over time. They will catch on, okay? Um, but unfortunately, ideas that are just too scary for you people, the idea of, oh, life is just fucked up, you can't go there, so you have to contrive some other story. I mean, we debated this stuff in Stick Him, and I, you know, like I said, your words just resonate in my head, and they will forever. When, you know, at the end of the argument, uh, you, all you had to say was, that makes me sad. All right, it's just like, to be serious, made a little add-on video to yours, which didn't say anything at all. She starts talking about UFOs and channelers and all kinds of other crap. But all throughout the video, she's talking about what she would like the truth to be. And at the same time, talking about how we can't manipulate the truth to satisfy our needs. Well, you know, I mean, maybe she's doing it fair, but I mean, it just seems kind of a little bit silly to use the positive I want kind of rhetoric when you're explaining to people that really they're not allowed to want when they're doing philosophy. Um, so that was a little bit strange. Um, but it really is. You, you, you know, you already, you've painted the picture of yourself. You're running from the truth. You're saying, I don't like reality, so I'm going to redefine it. I'm going to find some way to ensure that it makes sense by forcing people who are, are you know, logically bending them, um, distorting them, perverting them, deluding them um, to perceive that there must have been a spark. And if there was a spark, it had to be sparked by something that was smarter than us or had a better idea than us or knew better than us. And that's what you're saying. You're saying that life has to make sense. It has to be good because something wouldn't have started it if it doesn't, if it doesn't make sense, if it wasn't good. And it's just such crap. Um, I'm, I'm not even going to go to the Adam's Feel crap. I mean, you want to cling to that crap from Whitehead? That's your choice. And this whole name-dropping crap, this book, book, book. Well, why don't you start quoting L. Ron Hubbard? He, he's no doubt said some things that were worth mentioning. So why not? Why not go there, too? You know, why don't you find every crackpot in the history of mankind that wrote something in a book that was actually sellable and say that's an authority and we shall now, therefore, um, you know, memorize it and just keep spreading the bullshit. But that's all that is, is bullshit. Adams feel? I mean, what good would feelings do you if you had no way to act on them? I mean, the only way you can act on them reasonably is you have to have a brain. You have to have some device that does reasonable calculations. Um... You know, this is, and it's, so again, and I'll hit the hard problem of consciousness. Uh, agreed, it's a hard problem in the sense that it's not a simple one. Um, it's not simple to describe the mechanics of something um, so um, deep within the core of our uh, uh, ability to survive, live, do anything. I mean, you can't fuck around with that such an organ. It's a very dangerous organ to fuck around with. So, yeah, we don't know exactly the dynamics of this awareness thing but we certainly know we can see its evolution it's right in front of us we can see it in the organisms that exist around us but some of them have obviously um, a capacity to learn and, and the only reason why you'd have a capacity to learn is you'd have to have something giving you favorable and unfavorable impressions you'd have to have some feeling organ okay and that that's where consciousness exists is in a feeling organ 
uh, consciousness without feelings wouldn't exist because it couldn't even acquire a rational brain because the only way reason can work is there has to be feelings positive and negative attached to ideas they have to be validated by something and the only thing that can validate them is a positive and a negative and that's what that's what consciousness creates okay the capacity is to sense positive and negative and to sense it um, either crudely by a raw harsh negative feeling or to sense it through an advanced complex ball of, of neurons that are essentially another organ um, uh, feeding uh, more information that simulates the sensation, the idea of sensation. Um, so whatever, I mean, it's just, there's nothing, what else, what can be said? Like I said, you, you, you say you're not this and you're not, but you are. You're a theist and you're a, a creationist.